Hey guys, I got a little project going on here. The other day when we got ready to load this boat up, get down in here, look. As you can see, my, I guess, boards had rotted and floated up, and I had to actually tie them down with a, with a piece of rope there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some new boards, and I'm going to... Take you off the All process. Right. Here's the material I'm going to be using uh, for the, the boards on the, the boat trailer. I bought one 10 foot 2x4. Uh, it's all been uh, pre treated. I cut it in half so I got two 5 footers and then I got two 8 foot boards. And that's where we're going to start. Alright, here's what I've done so far. I went out and I measured from the back of the boat. On them boards to the center of the hose that way i could go ahead and pre-drill all my boards as you can see these are the the inner boards and then there will be the outers i've already got them pre-drilled and ready to bolt up so next thing to do is get the carpet out cut it and stick it to it hey guys what i want to do is i'm going to show you how to lay this out and uh Everything cut and ready for when you add the adhesive, lay the board on, staple, and you're done. So what I've done is, I've, I've just taken a measuring stick, I've given it uh, about five and a half inches up, that way you have enough room to come up the side and down the back. I have centered the board on both sides, the entire length, and then I just go down and mark it all the way down the length of the board. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a straight rule I'm going to let it flat up against this board. I'm going to make me some marks on the inside. That way it's the same same width as the that's my board. That way when I move my board I already have my marks so I know exactly where to cut it. This way I don't have to cut anything while I have the board there. This is going to be the part that flaps over the board. So we leave it intact. Now the sides, these are going to wrap around. I'm going to come down about an inch and a half, two inches. You don't even have to, don't even have to mark it. Just, just take a guess. Because it's going to be hidden by this flap anyway. Just cut them straight off. this down here so I'm just going to go ahead and glue it. It's pretty hot here in Kentucky today so I've got this little fan running. I'm going to do the same thing down on this end. Alright. Now I'm just going to take this indoor outdoor adhesive. I'm just going to run it down the center. You don't have 
to be pretty. Anyway. the board up here. Get all the wrinkles on the bottom side. That's going to be your upside. Just come down a few inches, about six inches or so. Get tight. You may have a little bit of play, but don't worry about that. We'll get that out later. We'll do this down the hole the board. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this video a little short. Show you how to do this. So you just pull it tight. You can pull the side in. You just pull the top down. Put some staples in it. Pull this side in. You get, don't matter whether you do it, pull the side in first or the top down first. This time I'll just pull the top down, wrap the side around, put a couple of staples in it. And what you do is you just grab this, pull it tight. And while you got it tight, you just some staples in it and you're done. Well, I'll finish the rest of it up myself. That's all there is to it.